What's going on YouTube? You've tried the rest, now it's time to try the best. This is Whitestone Dome. They make some of the best tempered glass screen protectors on the market for just about every phone out there. Today we're taking a look at the Samsung S21 Ultra Edition. This is a four step process. It couldn't be any easier with the installation tray. They make it super, super simple. But if you want some help installing it, I'm here. I'm gonna show you how to install it. They also have a camera protector and a cushion protector for the back of your phone. So if you're not really all that into cases, this is a great way to still protect the back of your device without scratching it up for the long term. But let's go ahead and check out Whitestone's S21 Ultra Edition and check it out together. For those of you that really care about your device, Whitestone Dome is the best way to go. It is really the best screen protector in my opinion. You get full responsiveness, full clarity, so it's definitely a lot more clearer than those peel and stick screen protectors that you've used in the past. You also get full coverage and it's full filling, so it goes edge to edge, unlike some other screen protectors out there. Again, four steps is all you need, so they make it really simple. Plug your device into the jig, drop the adhesive in the dome glass, pull the hook, start the UV curing, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside of this box here, and then we're gonna do the installation together. This is everything that comes in the box, and it looks like a lot. It might be, it might be a little overwhelming, but trust me guys, it's a very easy installation. So it's really important that you watch this video from start to finish and figure out how to install it first before you go ahead and attack because when you're in the middle of the process you're really not going to have the time to go back, watch my video and then figure out what you have to do. So take your time with this because you do it right the first time and it's going to be an awesome experience if you do it right. So the first thing that you want to do, you do have to clean off your screen. Now I usually just like to take a little, a little wet bounty towel or something like that just for the initial clean, just to get any oils or anything like that off of your phone. Put this to the side because you are going to need that later on. Now what we have is we have these tape stickers and you're going to want to tape the sides of your phone. So you want to tape your volume rocker, your power rocker, you also want to tape all of your ports on the bottom. And then you want to tape the top ports as well just so that you don't get any glue inside of it. One thing that's worth noting guys is you want to ensure that you don't get any of this tape on the front underneath where your Whitestone Dome glass is going to go because then that means you're going to have this tape underneath your glass and it's really going to mess up your installation. So err on the side of putting the tape more towards the back of your phone. So let's just go ahead and do that and I'm going to show you what that looks like after I do it. I've gone ahead and put the tape on the sides and really just take your time with it and double check that you have just enough space between the side rail and your glass of your phone and you'll be just fine. Again, depending on the color of your device, it might be a little bit easier or it might be a little bit tougher to see. Just make sure you don't get the tape on the glass. It'll make for a much easier installation. The next thing that you want to do is go ahead and clean your screen. Make sure that there's no dust underneath it. Now what I like to do as well, I like to go ahead and turn this. And they say turn it until you can't turn it no more. So that took about four tries, but just go ahead and get that ready because you're going to need to have this ready. Again, I really recommend that when your phone is in here, you're ready to go, all the dust is off, because the more you touch with it, the more you play with it, you know that little one dust particle is gonna land right in the center of your screen. So I always like to try and err on the side of caution and get all of this out of the way. I do not wanna see any dust particles underneath my screen. So they give you a little extra. Again, this is a two pack. Let's get our dust remover sticker ready, alcohol swab, and then once again, one of these microfiber cleaning cloths. Really wipe it down, make sure there's no dust that's going to get on this. You don't want to use these microfiber cloths more than you have to because they do attract dust, they do attract lint. Next what you want to do is take off this little piece on the bottom, flip this on over, get your phone, make sure once again that there's no dust. Go ahead and plop your phone in. Make sure that sticker is covering the speaker. And of course I see dust. The next thing you want to do guys is go ahead and put this middle piece right in the middle. Get your glue ready. Now here comes the fun part, we're going to see if my desk is level, but if it's not, don't worry, you can go ahead and level it. So, looks like my desk is a little uneven. You want to go ahead and get the glue right in the middle here. We can go ahead and remove the glue. 
Next, what you want to do is remove this little piece in the center. Get your tempered glass ready. Now, this is the back, so make sure to install this properly once again, guys. Drop it on in the middle. Once you have it all ready, what you want to do is go ahead and get your weight. Now it's a little too late to check for dust, but anyway, make sure that your glue is still somewhat in the center there. Everything should be in place, so now the final step is to release this little handle here. Now I like to put a little pressure this way. We don't get a, a jerking motion that's going to ruin the installation. So let's go ahead and flip this to the right. Make sure it's twisted all the way. Let the glue do its thing and kind of spread over evenly. Let it let it rest for a couple seconds just to ensure you don't have any any clear spots. You want the glue to cover your entire phone. And hopefully if you did get that glue in the center, you should be okay. While the glue is spreading, I like to get my white stone UV light ready. So let's just go ahead and make sure you have a power bank or you have some sort of power source. Micro USB is the way to go with this. Next step will be you're going to want to cure it 15 seconds on the top, 15 seconds on the bottom, and then you're going to take it out of the contraption, wipe it down, and do 60 seconds on the top, 60 on the bottom, 60 again, 60 again. So it's just one touch on the top, one touch on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and do that. Next what you want to do guys is take your phone out of the jig, out of the little contraption here. Now again, remember I told you to keep hold of your towel that you first wiped down. Just make sure you don't have any glue on the sides. Just kind of wipe it down a little bit. As long as you don't have a lot of excess glue on the sides, go ahead and cure it. Because once you cure it, that glue, you can still get it out, but it's just better to do things now. Next, what you want to do is cure it for 60 seconds again on the top and the bottom, and then 60 seconds again. Press twice. And now do it again on the bottom. Whitestone Dome has really put a ton of effort into simplifying this process, giving us a timer built into the UV light, giving us the jig, giving us the weight. They've really improved their product and made it a lot simpler to use than in previous generations. That's why I really can recommend Whitestone Dome Glass. It not only is the best, but they simplify the process. You're not going to get glue in any parts or any ports that shouldn't have glue. It's just going to be a very nice installation, especially after you watch my review, especially after you watch how I do it. You're going to have a phone that's going to be well protected. You're not going to have to worry about that glass. And you're going to have a super clear, super crisp screen that you can look at while you watch your Jabotech YouTube videos. So again, Whitestone Dome is the best, and Whitestone Dome is a glass that I always recommend. So let me know what you guys think about this installation process down in the comments below. Let me know how it went for you. Were you a little nervous in the beginning, but then realized, hey, this ain't bad after all. This is actually really simple. And that's it, guys. This should be all done, all nice, all set. The one thing that I will mention when you're finished, you might be super eager to go ahead and throw on your cases, but just let it sit for a little bit longer. I know you don't have to, but that's just something I always recommend. Final step is turn on your phone and enjoy it. So if we take a look at it, it looks like I did a pretty good job. No dust particles right in the center. That's number one. That's first and foremost, and you can just see how clean the screen is. You can see the clarity of the white stone dome glass. There is absolutely, basically zero difference between having the white stone dome glass and having your phone naked, having your phone raw dog without any type of screen protector. They really make a super clear screen, and, and I give them a lot of thumbs up to that. It's not a cheap lens at all. It's not a cheap glass, and the quality definitely shows. And when you have a, such a beautiful device like the S21 Ultra, you want to make sure that you're able to see everything that's on the screen in HD, in super high resolution. Before we end out the video, I am going to install the dome glass for my camera. I want to keep those beautiful lenses on the back protected and I really want to ensure that they that they don't get scratched up. And again, I trust in Whitestone, so this is their Whitestone camera protection. 
You're not going to need the UV light or anything like that. It's just going to be a tempered glass that you put on the back of your device. All you have to do is peel and stick it. That's pretty much as simple as it gets. But you do want to remove the dust. You do want to make sure you don't have any dust underneath there. So let's just go ahead and get everything ready, guys. Super, super simple once again. Here's the Whitestone Dome. Black to match the black. So there we go, now your entire phone is protected. Lastly, I almost forgot, take off this tape over here. I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think about the install process and about Whitestone Dome in general. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.